Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jax. And this is Mondays, Mondays with, with Magpie. Magpie. Now, Jacqueline, today we're going to do another one pan meal. Yay, my husband will be very happy. I know, I know. Variety is the spice of life, and he's going to get lots of spice. <laughs> um, we are going to do, it's a glorified beefaroni, basically. Oh, nice. It's called cheesy, cheesy beef bake or something like that. And I got it, I found it on Facebook, and I thought, oh, you know, we'll try that. So yeah. here goes. I always love to see if they actually work, and we'll see. All right, so warm pan, hot oil, food won't, or cold oil, hot pan, cold oil, food won't stick. The last time we did this, I practically burned the house down. So, <laughs> so we won't wait as long. Yeah, don't let the pan get too hot. Now, he, my husband has to make a Cajun shrimp, and he loves it. So go back a, an episode or two, and, or three or something, and, and go find Cajun shrimp. He's making it all the time. He's begging us for more recipes, because he really likes it. But he's so eating it a few times here a we week. Go. Okay, Jax. <laughs> all right. Put some oil in the pan. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> I thought it was going to be so dramatic. Uh -huh. Is that good or more? That's fine. Okay. All right, then you are going to cook this and crumble it. That's uh, so it's like supposed to be a half a pound. I think I might have more like a pound of, of beef, um, whatever you can find. It's supposed to be ninety percent. You kind of can you even buy beef in half a pound? I don't think you can. But so pound. if you can buy one pound, just use one pound. While she's doing that, I am going to cut an onion into little dices. All right. Salt. Here we go. This is just a it's a half a teaspoon that I keep in my little my little bowl and a half a teaspoon of pepper, but you can use, if you like it peppery, eh, you know, go for it. All right, we're going to cook this for about five minutes until the beef is brown and the onions are soft. Okay, Jax, how's it coming? It's cooking. It looks pretty good. All right, yeah. now I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, so three quarters of a teaspoon of oregano. Uh, if you like oregano, put more. If you don't like it very much, don't put much. If you don't know, just stick to the recipe. Yeah, if you don't. I always <laughs> you don't say, know if you like it. <laughs> yeah, I always say try the recipe as written first and then decide. Now, it's time to dump. So we are going to dump sauce. Now you'll find out if your pan is. Well, should we have taken the, the grease out? I guess not. No, no. no. It's okay. all flavor. Well, they say 90%, you get 90% fat, get low fat. All right, and then we put a cup and a quarter, one and a quarter cups. Well, I'm going to dump the pasta in, and then I'll add the stock. Uncooked, about three cups of pasta, right? Yes. Yeah. So decided. Maggie measured it, I think it was eight ounces, was about three cups of at least this. Too silly. Yeah, it's about three cups, or, you know, three good handfuls, whatever. And then we'll okay. chicken and broth, how much is that? Uh, one and a quarter cups of chicken broth. All right, we're going to cook that. We're going to cover and cook it for about 15 minutes, and then we'll be back to add the spinach. All right, so here's what we found out. While we were cooking, you have to watch it, and we added more stock to make sure that the pan was still nice and moist so that the, uh, the penny would get done. And then um, we also decided to add some crushed tomatoes. So I would say one can of sauce one can of diced tomatoes and then you've got something going and all right we didn't put that entire giant can no you should get a can this size yeah 15 ounces there you go if all right 16 you'll be fine. now here we go <laughs> now if you don't like spinach don't put it in but you really don't really taste it and it's just all good iron and your good mother always says you need your iron dear and you're certainly not going to probably be ironing in any other no way. <laughs> i know i don't <laughs> I use my iron for like kids' crafts. <laughs> That's not it. And to melt the crayons in the wax paper. Exactly. <laughs> now, you have a choice. You can either dump the cheese on now and put the lid back on and wait for it to melt, or you can just put it in a bowl and sprinkle cheese on. All right? The recipe calls for shredded mozzarella. We don't have that. Uh, well, yeah, and I'm not big on okay. mozzarella. So we're using what we've got. We have Mexican cheese. Mexican, yeah, well, there you go. We're, uh, so we're melding. Yeah, we are. You know, we're, yes. what do you call that? Fusion. Fusion. <laughs> Italian Mexican fusion. <laughs> but anyway. Um, on a hot plate. Yeah, and if you like cheddar, do cheddar. Do what you like, you know, what you're going to eat. So if you really like mozzarella, then throw the mozzarella on, put a lid on it. I like mozzarella. Everyone. 
everyone likes mozzarella. I was just too lazy to grate it. <laughs> that was the whole thing. All right. This, is it, that ready? Yeah, it looks like it's just about going. I had no idea that you could put the pasta into the sauce, put a little liquid and do it like this. I well, mean, this is yeah. My new, this is my life. This is my well. new <laughs> You have to make sure you have lots of liquid because it will dry, like this is fairly dry now. There's not a lot of juice in the bottom. So you've got to watch your pan or else you will have... So I like can't go on Facebook while I... No, you will have pasta pan. It, I you still will, but... Scraping it off the bottom. So uh, in order to avoid scraping it off the bottom, just keep an eye on it. If you don't have stock or if you run out of stock, just dump some water or a little bit of tomato juice or whatever you've got. Little red wine. Little wine. Oh, there we go. Great wine. <laughs> little red wine. That would really, really do it up. Okay, you ready, Jax? Ready. I say, we stop it. Okay. All right, so I have. My more. cheese is already melted. I just put mine on, so you don't really have to. Yeah. Even. You just put it right on the pasta. It's so hot. So my husband would say, piping hot. And if I just had a fork, I could eat this. Oh, I thought I'd give you one. Here. Oh, she's so nasty. Oh, <laughs> she is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I guess also if you want, you can put it, mm -hmm. like put the cheese all over it and put it in the oven if you have. If like, you an have oven. an oven. Yeah, or, or not just spread the cheese on, put the lid mm -hmm. back on, or put a book on top, or whatever you've got to put on top. This is so good. Isn't it nice? Yeah. That works. Thank you for joining us. See you again next time. And make sure you check out some of our other videos. There's lots of great ideas for quick meals.